Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Fantasy. My Mythical Beasts All Rely on Synthesis 6. Fantasy. My Mythical Beasts All Rely on Synthesis. Chapter 6. Meng Ching smiled. He turned the Chenkin bag over, and all the contents in it fell, and then said. As a subordinate of Blood Yi, there is only one way to die without the nourishment of Blood Flute, so you must carry this thing with you, do you want to prove your innocence? Show your bags. As soon as these words came out, the faces of many elders suddenly changed, and one person even reprimanded. Presumptuous, as an elder, how can you say that the search will be searched? Where does this make me wait for the face? Someone. Moved, turned the bag over, and placed it in everyone's sight. Some people were dissatisfied, but when they saw the man, they immediately panicked. Lord City Lord, you. Meng Xuantian finished showing, slowly put it away, and then said. This city lord believes Meng Qing's judgment, if you want to prove your innocence, just do it, after all, this city lord also wants to see what is in your Chenkin bag. Meng Xuantong pointed to the beast tide that was about to move again, clenched his fists and said. City lord, shouldn't we be united with the outside world right now? Behind us are the lives of hundreds of thousands of people in Mengcheng. Are you worried about the beast tide? This is easy to do. Meng Qing smiled and winked at the queen ant. The purple light around the queen ant shone brightly, like a round of purple sun rising in the air, and in an instant, the coercive pressure fell like a mountain falling, making it difficult for everyone present to breathe. The spirit beasts outside the city sensed the danger and frantically retreated towards the rear, and some of the low-level spirit beasts that did not have time to escape were all crushed, and some were even vigorously pressed into the soil. The beast tide retreated sharply and reached beyond Mengcheng Beizong. Some high-level spirit beasts were roaring in a low voice, as if they were in a dilemma. Now, do you have any concerns? Can your Chenkin bag make me wait for the palm of my hand? Meng Qing's words were relaxed. Meng Xuantong sighed, no one moved, their eyes were on the former, waiting for orders. Meng Xuantian's expression became sharp, and at the same time, the aura that belonged to the peak of the primordial origin was released, like a mountain crushing downward, which was extremely terrifying. Soon, some elders compromised and revealed their bags. Someone lit up one after another, and as the number of people showed increased, Meng Xuantian's face improved a little, and so far, no blood flute was found. Su, an elder suddenly cast his body technique, using his aura to shoot into the distance, and with the scream of a bird of prey, he flew out more than ten zhong in an instant, and the speed was extremely fast. Want to run? No way. Meng Xuantian stretched out his hands, his right hand lingering with spiritual energy, and pointed upwards. A lion roar spread, and at the same time, a crimson phantom rushed forward, like a fireball rising from the ground, smashing straight forward, accurately hitting the phantom that was constantly fleeing. The phantom went and returned, it was a lion with red hair, like a flame constantly burning. Yan Lion, Meng Xuantian's beast. The moment the elder's Chenkin bag was opened, a blood flute landed crisply on the ground. Swish. Once again, some elders moved, all those who had not shown their Chenkin bag before. But their route was not to escape, but to split into two waves, rushing towards Meng Xuantian and Meng Qing respectively. For a time, the beasts here roared to the sky, and the powerful aura that bloomed one after another bloomed one after another, and the soldiers with lower cultivation even had to close their eyes to resist that coercion. The corners of Meng Qing's mouth rose, and he raised his hand and said lightly. Golden armor shield. A shield emerged, enveloping him like a barrier. The strength of those elders who attacked him was at the peak of blood refining or even higher, and Meng Qing suddenly jumped up when he thought that his spiritual energy base was even richer than ordinary people. But before he could make a move, Meng Xuantian killed, bathed in flames all around, and the Yan Lion roared, beheading all those elders. When Meng Qing saw his father's blood-red eyes, he couldn't help but feel a chill in his back. In the past year or so, no matter what small actions these elders made in private, he had never seen Meng Xuantian so angry. Coming back to his senses, all those elders were killed, and in their Chenkin bags, there were all blood flutes without exception. At this time, only Meng Xuantong remained on the city tower without revealing his Chenkin bag. Seeing Meng Qing's eyes looking at him, Meng Xuantong sighed helplessly and lit up his Chenkin bag. In addition to the large number of cultivation resources and various elixirs, there are a large number of daily necessities and there is no blood flute. Meng Xuantian was visibly relieved. 
Now you trust me, right? Of course, since Meng Qing has the ability to resist this beast tide, it is naturally better. In fact, I also find it incredible, these people say that they get along with me day and night, but I didn't expect that they were this kind of people, and they really failed my cultivation of them on weekdays. Meng Xuantong's expression was also not good looking. The former looked a little embarrassed, and at a certain moment, he really suspected his brother. Just as the latter was about to leave, Meng Qing applauded on the side. I really didn't expect that as the great elder of Meng Cheng, not only is his strength excellent, but his acting skills are even first class, and he almost deceived me. Meng Xuantong's face immediately changed and asked. Meng Cheng, what do you mean? Do you have to show you that I have to die to believe me? Meng Qing smiled and said slowly. Blood Yi can completely control those dispensable existences with the blood flute, but for real henchmen, there are naturally other arrangements, after all, it is much more difficult for a henchman to cultivate than those miscellaneous fish. Meng Xuantong immediately changed his face, subconsciously took a few steps back, seemed to notice his gaff, coughed twice, and then said. What do you want to say? As the great elder of Mengcheng, I grew up with the city lord since I was a child, how could I become a confidant of thieves such as Blood Yi? Meng Qing shook his head gently. It's not up to you. As soon as he raised his hand, the ant queen stepped forward, his tentacles flickered, and purple light emanated, like a long whip binding Meng Xuantong. Meng Qing stepped forward, his palm shook slightly, and purple light suddenly appeared on the tentacles of the queen ant, and Meng Xuantong's face changed. He changed from initial indifference to panic, as if foreseeing something terrifying. Big brother, save. Before he could even say the words begging for mercy, his body suddenly stiffened. Su, a white afterimage struck, pointing directly at Meng Qing's neck, with awe-inspiring killing intent. The queen ant screamed, purple light shot out, and the white afterimage was bombarded, and fell to the ground without breath. This is a snow white fox, a heavenly spirit fox, Meng Xuantong's beast, it senses that Meng Xuantong is about to suffer a life and death crisis, so it fights hard, but it is only a third order spirit beast that is just a pebble hitting a stone in front of the queen ant. Meng Xuantong's skin surged with a large amount of blood red, and immediately after, a terrifying bloody aura was released, which was even more than the previous blood flute. Meng Qing did not spare his hand and let the ant queen kill him. There was silence. No one expected that the great elder Meng Cheng was actually a henchman of evil cultivators such as Blood Yi. And thinking of this time the beast tide and those elders who were also killed, Rao Meng Xuantian's back was also soaked in cold sweat. Just as they looked at Meng Qing with gratitude, they found that the latter was slow and methodical, taking all the things that had been killed by the elders. These people have been in high positions in Meng City for many years, and their accumulation is naturally rich, and this is what Meng Qing needs most at the moment. Meng Xuantian opened his mouth and acquiesced to this behavior. Meng Qing quickly packed up, but then made a move that everyone present did not expect. He jumped directly off the city tower. Meng Xuantian said anxiously. Chinger, you are, quote, the beast tide has not dispersed, the crisis has not been lifted, the person who caused this beast tide is behind these spirit beasts, I will go and find them out. Meng Qing's face turned cold. Meng Xuantian was about to continue saying something, but when he saw the queen ant, he subconsciously closed his mouth. Even if it was him, I am afraid that following up now would only help Meng Qing. Fantasy. My mythical beasts all rely on Synthesis 7. Fantasy. My mythical beasts all rely on Synthesis. Chapter 7. Rumble. When Meng Qing was still a hundred feet away from the pioneer of the beast tide, those spirit beasts began to feel uneasy. Those low-level spirit beasts panicked, their claws constantly scratching the ground, and roared uneasily. As for the second order and very few third order spirit beasts, they were walking around, and their eyes looking at Meng Qing were sometimes fierce and sometimes fearful, as if they were constantly struggling. Tell them that I'm only interested in the people who manipulated them, and if they leave now, they won't be blamed. Meng Qing said in a low voice. The queen nodded, her tentacles flickering, and then she roared in a low voice. A large number of low-level spirit beasts were frantically fleeing, and the beast tide was obviously chaotic. Their spiritual intelligence is not high, they are only driven away by high-level spirit beasts, and in the face of life and death crisis, it is almost their instinct to escape. As for those second-order and third-order spirit beasts, some chose to escape, and more, in a low roar. 
cave have in touch. Meng Ching was not polite and let the Ant Queen rest assured. The purple light blooms, which is particularly dazzling in the night. The people of Mengcheng, who were watching from the rear city tower, only saw a purple tentacle that seemed to extend from the sky falling straight down. Rumble. It was as if the gods had clicked a finger, and the chi was connected into one and fell in the middle of those spirit beasts. They feel the danger and want to run, but it's too late. A deep pit appeared in the middle of the field, the soil was mixed with the flesh and blood of spirit beasts, and the air was mixed with blood. Instead of feeling excited, the bloodthirsty spirit beasts became more and more frightened, and the surviving spirit beasts fled madly, no longer caring about the threat from the rear. The air trembled, it was several third-order birds of prey, they should not have appeared outside this Xuanji mountain, and now they wanted to fly back to the depths. The queen ant moves again, the tentacles tremble, the purple light shoots out, and kills with one blow. Meng Qing moved, and his aura sank to his legs, rushing towards the depths of the mountain range. The queen ant stood on his shoulder, his tentacles constantly shaking, and every time he shook, a spirit beast was killed. Upstairs in Meng Cheng City, Meng Xuantian and the others swallowed their saliva with some difficulty, and they were shocked and unable to speak for a while. For a long time, an elder trembled and said, Could this be the true strength of the young city lord? Dot 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 dot. Half an hour later, Meng Qing stopped. At this time, he only felt that his blood was boiling, sweat soaked his clothes, and a large area of white chi was steaming from his body. After a long time of hurrying, Rao is also a little overwhelmed by his spiritual energy heritage. Those second and third order spirit beasts were all killed, and according to the point of the queen ant, Meng Qing roughly deduced that the person who manipulated the beast tide was nearby. Su, before he could think more, a rapid breaking wind came, making his back chill. The queen screamed, and a golden shield appeared in front of him. There was a crisp clang, and the flying thing shattered. Before he could think more, the queen ant flew out on her own, and purple light emanated, shooting forward like lightning. The screams were accompanied by the shaking of the crossbow, which was especially chilling in the night. In less than twenty breaths, the battle was over. Meng Qing walked to the place where the purple light stopped, only then did he see that there were five people who fell to the ground. Their cultivation ranged from the peak of blood refining to the early stage of the Taichu, and what made Meng Qing feel strange was that none of their beasts were nearby. Strange, these people dare to come here alone, but why don't they bring beasts? What are their strengths? Meng Qing said to himself, even a beast tamer cannot be said to have absolute certainty, and driving the beast tide is even more so. As warriors, it is impossible for them not to know the truth that once they die, the beast will also die. After groping on their bodies for a while, there were no chenkin bags, not even weapons for self-defense, and just as Meng Qing turned their bodies over to check their backs, five blood flutes fell to the ground. The queen ant trembled her tentacles a little irritably, if Meng Qing hadn't endured it, I'm afraid the former would have been unable to resist destroying these. Different from the ordinary blood flute, the blood flute of the five people is decorated with patterns, I am afraid that this time the reliance is. Click. There was the sound of branches being stepped on in the forest, and the queen of ants flew out. Keep him alive, Meng Qing hurriedly shouted. With a scream, the fleeting purple light dimmed again. His words were finally a step slower, and the person who wanted to escape was also breathless. Meng Qing was in trouble. I originally wanted to get some news from them, how can this be good? The Ant Queen, who was originally a little guilty because of the first shot, heard this, and suddenly raised her head, and her tentacles kept twitching. Meng Qing was a little surprised. You said you can search for souls. The Queen nodded, jumped on the person who had just died, and the tentacles were against the person on the ground, surrounded by a peaceful purple light. After a blaze of incense, Meng Qing's face completely darkened. He had learned what was going on. These two were not Blood Yi's subordinates, but from Qi City and Fang City around Mengcheng. The place where they are located is called the Three Cities Domain, and for so many years, the Three Cities of Meng, Qi, and Fang have always stood on three legs, and even the place where Blood Yi often moves is tens of thousands of miles away from the Three City Domain. But not long ago, Blood Yi arrived here, united with Qifang or Cheng to drive the Beast Tide, and wanted to slaughter Mengcheng. And this route is only because he recently practiced an exercise, which requires a lot of blood as an introduction. As for the rest, because this person's status is low, it is impossible to learn more. Chi Chang, 
Feng Chang, it seems that I need to take a walk and see what this blood yi is. Meng Qing whispered, and then turned his steps, and after suppressing a second order wind wolf to use as a substitute, he rushed towards Fang Chang. Dot 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 dot. Fang Chang. On a Ten Zhang city wall, many guards were patrolling closely, and their eyes looked towards Xuanji Mountain from time to time. A soldier took advantage of the gap between shifts and asked a veteran. Tonight I saw a large number of spirit beasts heading towards the west, could something have happened over there? Over there, it's Mengchang, right? Could it be that the increase in the guard force by 20% tonight has something to do with this? The veteran was startled, then glared at him. Who told you this? Less nonsense here, hurry up and go to rest. The soldier was stunned, and in a blink of an eye, he saw a flash of purple light in the Xuanji mountain, and just as he wiped his eyes and looked carefully, he found that it was still dark ahead. Am I really too suspicious? The soldier muttered to himself and walked quickly back to his residence. Outside the city, Meng Qing gathered his breath and rested in place for a while, while checking the situation in Fang Chang. Then he looked at the queen. Do you sense the danger? The ant queen shook her head and told him that the only danger in Fang City was the city lord and his beast, and one person and one beast combined could not block its move. In this way, a strong attack is the best way, Meng Qing said to herself. With that, he raised his hand and gently pointed to the sky. Rumble. Directly above the gate of Fang Chang, a terrifying explosion suddenly sounded. A large expanse of purple light emanated, and a tentacle with dozens of feet descended from the sky, mixed with a palpitating coercion, moving forward. In an instant, the gate of Fang City was like tofu, shattering one after another. Fantasy. My mythical beasts all rely on Synthesis 8. Fantasy. My mythical beasts all rely on synthesis. Chapter 8. Immediately afterwards, the city wall was like a makeshift tofu dregs building, starting from the edge of the city gate and collapsing inside. Some of the guards were buried under the rubble before they could even react to what was going on. A few fast reacting guards shouted, quickly inform the city lord that there is an enemy attack. The tentacles continued to move forward, clearly guarding the well guarded realm, but they were straightforward as if they had entered no man's land. Meng Qing followed behind, listening to the roars and wails around him, and did not feel the slightest discomfort. If it weren't for the system, perhaps he would have died in the beast tide at this time, and even hundreds of thousands of people in Mengchang. He is not the virgin, and for those in the hostile camp, he cannot be forgiven. Some guards glared at him angrily, although some people could feel that Meng Qing's aura was only the peak of blood refining, but because of that tentacle, they did not dare to step forward to block it. Soon from the city gate to it, more than a dozen auras above the primordial period locked here. A bold thief who dares to trespass into our city, no matter who you are, you will have to pay for it. There were fast-moving elders who arrived, and although the breath of the tentacles made them tremble, when they noticed that Meng Qing's cultivation was only refining blood, they suddenly lost their anger. Meng Qing smiled at the corner of his mouth, he wanted to know, where did these people have the confidence? With a movement of the hand, the queen ant's tentacles emitted light, like a long whip waving around, and those beams of light suddenly landed like dumplings. The tentacles exhausted their last strength after slamming open the gate of the city lord's mansion, and from above, it looked like a giant had slammed a punch at the city lord's mansion along the city gate, and everything along the way was raised to the ground. Rumble. A black phantom shadow flew into the sky, and above stood a middle-aged man with angry eyebrows, he was dressed in a training suit, his eyes were piercing with killing intent, staring at Meng Qing closely, as if he would strike at any time. Fang Ding, the peak of the primordial period, the beast is the Xuanshui turtle. Where is the junior, come to our city to mess around, do you know the consequences? Fang Ding spoke up, full of oppression. Meng Qing raised a little and scolded in a low voice. What about loading a calf? Give me down. The queen ant struck, the tentacles trembled, and the purple light expanded forward, like an invisible big hand, shook it upwards, and dragged Fang Ding straight down. Fang Ding, who was still standing in midair, smelled the fragrance of the earth, and only felt a little unreal. And the others in Fangcheng City Lord's mansion also looked like they had seen a ghost. The turtle roared in a low voice, and it was trying to stand up, but the queen roared, and with only one sound, it stopped struggling, and then its hands and feet retracted into the turtle shell. Meng Qing stepped forward, squatted down, and took out a blood flute. Are you familiar? 
Fang Ding's face changed suddenly, and through the light, he saw Meng Qing's face clearly, and couldn't help but say in shock. You are Meng Qing. That's impossible. How do you have a blood flute? Quote. Meng Xuantong has already been killed by me. According to his explanation, all his actions during the Beast Tide must be subject to your dispatch, including contacting Blood Yi, and tell me where Blood Yi is. Meng Qing decided to blackmail him. Fang Ding's eyes were shocked, but he lowered his head almost at the same time. I don't know what you're talking about, but you, you've been talking nonsense with the Blood Yi thief's thing since just now, what do you want to do? Meng Qing smiled and said in a low voice, You know what? Before this, Meng Xuantong also said so, as Blood Yi's henchman, you are undoubtedly qualified, and now, I want to know which of you is more powerful. After hearing this, Fang Ding obviously swallowed a mouthful of saliva, but he chose to continue to pretend to be stupid. I don't know what you're talking about, what blood is easy, my generation of martial artists. Meng Qing didn't let him continue, the ant queen fell, the tentacles bloomed cold, purple light appeared, and one of Fang Ding's arms was cut off. Fang Ding's face instantly turned pig's liver color, but before he could continue to shout, the ant's tentacles touched the wound. Under Meng Qing's instruction, the purple light drilled into Fang Ding's internal organs along the severed blood vessels, and from a distance, it seemed that there were thousands of purple ants constantly moving under the skin. Fang Ding's face instantly changed from miserable white to a strange blood red, similar to Meng Xuantong, this is the aura introduction that blood easy to leave in his body, at this time, he sensed the danger and spontaneously protected the Lord. Immediately, those purple points of light drilled upwards one after another, as if two extreme forces were at war. This pain like 10,000 ants devouring his heart made Fang Ding almost collapse. In less than 10 breaths, Fang Ding beckoned and wailed. I said, hurry up and let it stop. With a move of Meng Qing's palm, the queen ant retracted her attack, and the red power quickly disappeared. You only have one chance, cherish it. Meng Qing said with a faint smile. If I say it all, can you let me go? There was only fear in Fang Ding's eyes, and he felt something more terrifying than blood yi in Meng Qing. No, but you have to know that there are many ways to die, what you are going to say determines how you die, whether it is Ling Kai or gives you a pain, the decision is entirely up to you, cherish it. Meng Qing said slowly, although his face was not top-notch, it looked absolutely comfortable, but at this time, in Fang Ding's eyes, he was even more terrifying than the demons in hell. Fang Ding smiled bitterly and said everything he knew. Qi Yuan and I are both Blood Yi's henchmen, but my level is not as good as Qi Yuan, all action orders must be dispatched by Qi Yuan, this time to attack Meng Cheng is also the same, tomorrow morning, Blood Yi will set off from Qi City, give me a chance halfway, and then go to Meng City to practice exercises. When he got the answer he wanted, Meng Cheng nodded slightly, and then asked. When I came, although those who dispersed the beast tide had a certain cultivation, they did not carry their own beasts, why? Fang Ding smiled bitterly, not allowing the beasts to be carried, in fact, Blood Yi didn't intend to let them come back at all, the blood of those spirit beasts is more useful than the warriors. Meng Qing was stunned, secretly sighing that this Blood Yi was really a ruthless person, and then turned around and smiled. Okay, I'm satisfied with your answer, you can go on the road. What? Ah, uh, when Fang Ding was about to ask for mercy, the ant's tentacles stretched out and already pierced his eyebrows. The Xuanshui turtle wailed, and then also lost its breath. For the strong people in Fang Cheng who were above the beginning of cultivation, Meng Qing did not let go of a single one, and let the ants work hard and kill them all. Then, under the leadership of several guards, he took all the treasures of the Fangcheng city lord's mansion away, and as for the large ones, he ordered those people to pack them and send them to Mengcheng. Just as he was about to leave, a young soldier guarding the city said with some hesitation. Actually, our city lord also has a huge chicken farm in the east of the city. Meng Qing was stunned. Your city lord likes to eat chicken. The little soldier was a little puzzled. It seems so. How big is the chicken farm? How many chickens are in it? Meng Qing asked thoughtfully. At least 10,000. Hurry up and take me there. Fantasy. My mythical beasts all rely on Synthesis 9. Fantasy. My mythical beasts all rely on Synthesis. Chapter 9. A quarter of an hour later, Meng Qing arrived in front of a large piece of flat land. It was a hundred-acre site, full of low bushes, in which spirit chickens with red crowns, bright feathers, and shimmering claws were freely foraging. 
The queen ant released a little breath, and the chickens that were originally leisurely foraging suddenly became restless, frantically rushing towards the depths of the bushes, extremely fast. Meng Ching could see that the cultivation of these chickens was very low, and they were not even the lowest level demon beasts. But this is not important, the key is the quantity. He glanced at the guards. Good job, from today onwards, you will be the leader of this city, do a good job, don't let me down. The little guard was immediately ecstatic, and asked with great insight. Then do these chickens need small packages to send to Meng Cheng? Meng Ching shook his head. No need, you go and get busy with yours, don't let people come close here. The guard quickly left in response. Rumble, Meng Ching asked the queen ant to release coercion, and concentrated all the chickens that were running around in it in a corner. Tap on the system to start scanning nearby synthetics. Open black lens bracket ding. 10,000 mediocre chickens were detected, was it synthesized? Yes. Exclamation mark. Congratulations to the host for successfully synthesizing 10,000 chickens and obtaining the fourth order spirit beast heavenly obituary golden pheasant one. With a flash of golden light, a great sun seemed to rise in this hundred acre place, and all around were reflected in golden brilliance. This scene looks particularly sacred, and the obituary golden pheasant stood in it that day as majestic as a three-legged golden crow. The golden light quickly dispersed, and what appeared in front of Meng Ching's eyes was a big rooster with red-gold hair, head held high, and clouds fluttering on its paws. The queen ant felt the breath of the same enemy, and immediately the tentacles flickered rapidly, and she almost couldn't help but rush up to fight with the heavenly obituary golden pheasant. The system gave a prompt again. Do you sign a beast-taming contract? Meng Ching was slightly startled. In this world, in addition to cultivating themselves, warriors are also proud of having a powerful beast, and some talented warriors can even have two or more beasts. There are many beasts, and the warrior's own spiritual energy base and divine soul are strong enough. But he, it seems to break this boundary. At least, in his cognition, he had not seen a second person with two beasts. Sign the contract. The golden pheasant ended the confrontation with the queen ant, and Meng Ching felt that his body seemed to have an extra part again. Rumble, a rich and powerful aura suddenly poured into Meng Ching's body, circulating among his limbs. Click, click, click. His cultivation was surging upward, and in less than 30 breaths, his cultivation broke through again, rising from the peak of blood refining to the early stage of the primordial realm. At the same time, information about the golden pheasant of the obituary also appeared in front of Meng Ching's eyes. Heavenly Obituary Golden Pheasant A fourth-order spirit beast, known for its absolute control and flexibility of aura, but its control of flames is a little bad. Secret Technique Heavenly Obituary Jinyan, Heavenly Eye When he saw these two secret techniques, Meng Ching suddenly became calm, especially the latter. The Eye of Heaven This is Hitomi when I really picked up the treasure. Quote. Secret techniques are divided into high and low levels, and naturally there are also rare and ordinary, such as Tiancho Jinyan, although the lethality is very large, it is not rare, and this pupil technique is absolutely a hundred miles of existence. On the other side, the queen ant was still grinning, and her tentacles were constantly shaking to provoke the golden pheasant, and Meng Ching had already made a decision. Don't make trouble with the queen ant, in the future, it will be your half-brother, it is my beast, you must not fight among yourself. Got it. Meng Ching decided to do ideological work for the queen ant. He didn't have a problem, the first time he cultivated, he would have to rely on these two spirit beasts in the future, so he couldn't snub either side, right? Heavenly Obituary Golden Pheasant, this name is a bit awkward, you are a male, just call you chicken brother. If the queen provokes you, you will take care of it, don't think about it. Meng Ching said to the heavenly obituary golden pheasant. Brother Chicken nodded very cooperatively. Then, he looked to the east, and there was a cold light flickering in his eyes. Let's go, I want to see what kind of divine this blood ye is. Dot 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 dot. In front of the easternmost part of the three cities. A city gate that was ten jong tall, read all over and had the word Chi City written on it, many guards were nervously patrolling around. These guards were all pale, their eyes were bloodshot, and they were all worried like frightened birds. Suddenly, a purple light suddenly appeared in the sky. This purple light was like a blade that cut through heaven and earth, straight forward, aiming at the gate of Chi City. There is an enemy attack. The shrill and husky roar slowed everyone down. 
the purple light fell, and the city gate collapsed in an instant. Those guards who dodged in time saw that this purple light turned out to be a tentacle condensed by spiritual energy. After cutting open the city gate, the tentacles continued to move forward, pointing directly at the Chi City City Lord's mansion. Someone approaching, a veteran suddenly pointed outside the city and shouted. A young man in white walked slowly with his back hand, with an indifference and calmness, and walked straight to them. It seems that you are also deeply poisoned by blood ye, the purpose of my trip is to get rid of him and the city lord of Chi City, don't interfere with anyone else, if you want to accompany the burial, you can also step forward to block it. Meng Ching glanced at these soldiers and saw the clues at a glance. These generals' morale and blood are weak, most of them have scars on their wrists, and when they think of blood ye, the answer is already obvious. In front of everyone, Meng Ching walked into the city gate, and it was very strange that some of the soldiers present had a similar aura to Meng Ching, but no one stepped forward to stop it. Rampant. Get rid of the city lord. Just rely on your cultivation in the early stage of the primordial realm. Boy, you're running wilder. Quote. Boom. A strong aura suddenly bloomed from the Chi City City Lord's mansion, and a vague big hand with condensed spiritual energy reached out and slapped towards the tentacles, directly smashing the tentacles that consumed most of the spiritual energy. Meng Ching looked up, but saw a figure suspended in the sky. This person's breath is at the peak of the primordial realm, and his voice is a little vicissitudes, but his face is like a jade-faced scholar, and his hair is light red, which is indescribably strange. Rampant, do you know? Fang Ding also said this before, I suddenly became a little curious, is Blood Yi practicing stupid, looking for you crouching dragon and phoenix brooders as henchmen? Meng Ching said with a light smile. A trace of anger appeared in Qi Yuan's eyes, and he roared lowly. Hu wants to confuse this seat with that useless thing. Now that you know these secrets, let you die. Although the words were full of arrogance, Qi Yuan's shot was decisive and fierce, and he raised his palm and slapped down fiercely. Meng Qing didn't want to continue talking nonsense with him, and shook his fingers slightly. The queen ant struck, purple light bloomed, and the tentacles extended outward, as if a big hand grabbed Qi Yuan, dragged him down from above, and pressed him to the ground unable to move. The latter's move was broken, and the disordered aura frantically moved, making him vomit blood, and after that, the originally jade-faced scholar's face turned out to be strangely wrinkled. Qi Yuan's eyes were full of horror. How is this possible? What grade is your beast? Meng Qing did not answer, but looked up into the distance. How long are you going to hide? If you don't come out, your henchmen will die. Qi Yuan's cheeks suddenly turned fierce. You think this is the end? Assassinate Falcon. Kill. Quote. Whoosh. The afterimage swept by, and a fierce wind pointed directly at Meng Qing's neck. Fantasy. My mythical beasts all rely on Synthesis 10. Fantasy. My mythical beasts all rely on synthesis. Chapter 10. All this is a long story, but from the fall of Qi Yuan's words to the strong wind, everything is only a few breaths. The corners of Meng Qing's mouth rose, and his palm was slightly raised. A shield appeared behind Meng Qing, seemingly light and thin, but harder than the city wall. Rumble. The afterimage collided directly, like an egg hitting a stone, and the crisp cracking sound came, making people's hearts tremble. The Assassination Falcon is a third-order spirit beast, the most adept at combining sharp killing moves with extreme speed, but the Golden Armor Shield defense is a fourth order, and it cannot be broken. When the beast died, Qi Yuan was affected, and immediately snorted, his face was not only pale, but also gave birth to many wrinkles in an instant. Meng Qing's expression was flat, and his gaze was still looking into the distance. How long are you going to hide? If you don't come out again, this pawn of yours is really going to die. As soon as the words fell, like sandpaper rubbing, people heard the voice of physical discomfort from afar. Waste is waste, no matter how much effort you instill, the mud will never be able to support the wall. Knock knock, the ground was trembling gently, as if a heavy object was moving on the ground, and two red rays of light like lanterns appeared. That's a pair of eyes. It was an ape with crimson hair all over its body, and from the moment it appeared, the smell of blood was so thick that it almost vomited. King Kong Blood Ape, Fourth Order, Blood Easy Beast. Moving his gaze to the left, Meng Ching saw a strong man, this person's skin was also red, he was eight feet tall, and his whole body was muscular, although he was burly, but standing with the King Kong Blood Ape, he looked a little thin. 
Hearing Blood Yi's words, Qi Yuan suddenly lowered his head in shame. Meng Qing had a hint of curiosity in his heart. I have always heard of the name of the Blood Yi generation of evil cultivators, I am a little curious, your range of activities is a radius of thousands of miles, although there are many people in the three cities, the overall quality of the warriors is not high, why are you eyeing here? Blood Yi smiled. The kid who doesn't have even the hair grows, do you know what those do? It's just that in the beginning, you have a beast equivalent to the cave heaven realm, Laozi knows you, your name is Meng Cheng, and you are Meng Shuangian's waste son. But as far as I know, three days ago, you were still at the peak of your body refining, and Lao Su was also a little curious about why your cultivation was rising so fast. Meng Ching's voice was flat. Don't say it's okay, knock you down, I have many ways to know your thoughts and secrets. The corners of Blood Yi's mouth tugged, looking at Meng Ching's indifferent appearance, he couldn't help but muttered in his heart. After so many years in Fang Yuan, how can this kid be like a villain than him? Lao Su wants to see, relying on a fourth order beast alone, what whole cards do you have? Blood Yi roared low, his eyes closed one by one, his eyes turned blood red, not only that, his breath and even his breath were constantly approaching with the Vajra blood ape, like a symbiosis. One breath, Blood Yi jumped, and the King Kong blood ape moved at the same time, like a cannonball rising into the sky, smashing towards Meng Qing's foothold. Meng Qing did not dare to be careless, his aura sank, gathered at the calf, jumped gently, and at the same time the queen ant killed forward. Its tentacles emitted purple light and slashed forward, setting off a series of sonic booms in the air. Rumble, the purple light that the blood ape blasted out after hitting the ants even smashed out a deep pit that was more than a foot deep when it landed. The blood was easy to roar, and the speed was extremely fast, rushing towards Meng Qing like a fierce beast hunting. Golden Armor Shield, Cave Heaven Touch, Meng Qing couldn't dodge, and the next moment the shield appeared in front of him, the blood ape fell, and he slapped forward fiercely. In an instant, Meng Qing was blasted away like a cannonball, and all the houses he passed by collapsed. Blood Yi raised its head, and a tentacle fell from the sky and slammed on its back. The blood ape's defense was broken, and the force even smashed its calf into the ground, the blood was easily implicated, and its face turned pale instantly. Meng Qing walked out of the rubble, the golden armor shield became very blurry, and there were even many cracks on the surface, looking like it would crack at any time. Blood Yi got up, moved his shoulders, and said proudly. Gee, Lao Su can be considered to understand, you can get to this point today entirely because your beast is strong enough, and Qi Yuan is not unjustly lost. But what next? You are tired from calling here from Fang Chang, right? Once your beast tamer runs out of strength, what else can you do except wait for death? Meng Cheng's eyebrows raised slightly. Waiting for death, you have to be careful, if you don't go right, you will die. Blood. Yi laughed. To be honest, people of your age and strength, anyone who meets Lao Su, there is no one who is not scared to pee his pants, you are the first to dare to talk to Lao Su like this, Lao Su decided to leave you a whole corpse, this is your greatest reward. Rumble. As soon as the words fell, the blood easily rushed forward, the hair around the King Kong blood ape stood upside down, and the blood and chi swam wildly, as if carrying countless blood-colored snakes. Blood blade. The blood chi on the hair of the King Kong blood ape gathered in one place and condensed into a sharp blade. The blade cut out and aimed at Meng Qing's neck, and the fierce aura even made him sweat all over his body. Meng Qing closed her eyes, put the ant queen who was ready to strike into her pocket, and said softly. Brother Chicken, it's time for you to appear. Heavenly Obituary Jinyan. Without warning, from a corner not far from the two, a golden light mass suddenly rose. This photophore is less than two feet in diameter, but it is more dazzling than the sun. Blood Yi panicked. What the hell is this? No one answered his words. Brother Chicken arrived in front of Meng Cheng, opened his mouth and breathed, and a golden flame was like a pillar of light, shooting straight forward, extremely fast. The blade and the flame collided, but it was like the blade crashing into the magma, and it dissipated at the moment of contact. The pillar of light moved forward and hit Blood Yi's chest. A scalp-numbing scream came out, and as if it had been hit by a high-speed cannonball, his body flew backwards, crashing into a house, buried under rubble and rubble. Meng Ching quietly opened his heavenly eye and slowly walked forward. The flames dissipated, and the air was filled with the smell of roasted meat and bloody mixed together. He raised his hand, brother chicken struck, and the golden flame shot out again. 
swish, the sound of breaking through the air is endless, and those are darts stained with venom. Under the eyes of the sky, these small movements made by blood Yi naturally could not hide Meng Qing's eyes. Immediately afterwards, Meng Qing pointed in a direction and silently timed in his heart. In three seconds, Brother Chicken spewed out flames again, and a figure that was about to flee was shot, and there was another miserable scream. This is exactly blood easy. When he was shot by Tianbei Jin Yan and fell into the ruins, in order to save his life, he instantly sucked the blood of the King Kong blood ape, and then shot poisoned arrows in the ruins. I thought of sneaking away while Mang Ching was not paying attention, but I never expected him to cultivate pupil art. Please like and subscribe.